Real men don't drive Kias. Yes, this is my opinion. No, I don't care. Now, the only the only car that gets a little bit of pass is that Stinger, because that boy is nice and it produces like 367 horsepower. That is awesome. The K5, is, we're still in a on the here here with it because it's brand new. But they made a nice sleek design. Other than that, no. Think about it. I can't look at a guy hopping out of a Kia Soul like, <laughs> yeah, he's tough. No, no. Like, get you a real car. And even the Kia Sportage. I think from this angle, it looks like a mechanized puffer fish. Can't see a guy hopping out of that and be thinking, yeah, you know what? Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, he's tough. No. Get you a real truck. And the thing is, even if you don't go American muscle or go luxury foreign, but any of these can still get the job done. Like, not saying you look less of a man, but like this and like this, this is my mom's car. My cousin got this car when she was 17. These are not saying they're chick cars, but just think about it. Like all the things that you could drive that he could drive, you pull up in. The rat car. You look suspicious. No. We're gonna make some better choices. <clears throat> Cause not even from a masculine standpoint. Cause I'm pretty sure this car, it probably gives you great gas mileage. But so does this car. And this car is a little more reliable. I'm not saying get rid of your Kia if you have one. Because hey, you don't wanna break your lease. You don't have to owe the money. And if you're already almost done paying with it, you might as well just go ahead and keep it. But if you're making a new decision, I would stay away from this one, and I would stay away from this one. There's a bunch of Kias in that collection if you don't know what a Kia is, but we don't drive those. And we don't drive our cousin either, which is Hyundai. I wasn't given an exception for the Sonata, no. No Kias, no Hyundais, get you a man car.